whatever. So, les bon temps roulé. Who knows what that means? No. Um, it means let the good times roll. Awesome. Um, this is some, this is occasion way of saying let the good times roll. Something that um, people experience when they have beignets. So based on our audience analysis, 15% of you said you've heard and tasted beignets. 15% of you said you've heard but not tasted beignets. And 70% of you have neither heard or tasted beignets. So um, my name is Josh Martin. And I'm going to talk to you on the history of beignets and where they come from, the recipe, the ingredients, on, and the instruction in the traditions, both my personally and what the public may experience. So now that I've taught you a little of the Cajun language, I'm going to inform you on the history of the names. So these are known as the official state donut of Louisiana. Most, um, it's most popular in New Orleans and even more popular in the French Quarter. This is where tourists go and shop around and get to know the state in New Orleans even more. Um, it dates back to ancient Rome where they used to make this pastry called scoblitza. It's a moist fried dough that they used to dip in animal fat. And um, French cooks, they used to make two types of these pastries. Um, dough that uses yeast for its rising agent and the other one used um, its moistness for it to fluff up. Um, they also brought them from Acadia, Canada, after being forced out from the British, and they soon enough settled in Louisiana where they came known as Cajuns. So um, they aren't just sold anywhere. You can't just go off the street and get them. It's most popular and most common to get them in New Orleans in, um, in a restaurant called Cafe Du Monde. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, so, if you haven't seen them in real life, this is where you might see beignets in the Princess and the Frog movie. So, Cafe Guman was originally established in 1862. It was just a coffee shop and it sold the basic drinks. It hadn't established making beignets yet. But today it's open 24-7. It's up on Christmas and hurricane passings. Um, its menu includes dark roasted coffee, chicory beignets, white and chocolate milk, and orange juice. One of the most popular drinks they sell there now is Cafe Ole. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's traditionally eaten with these beignets along with hot chocolate and iced coffee is also um, made to the menu in 1988. Um, Cafe Du Monde also sells mugs and other itineraries that tourists might want to take home with. So the ingredients include two-fourths of a teaspoon, one and a half cup of warm water at 110 degrees, one and a half cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of salt, eggs, evaporated milk, flour, shortening, vegetable oil for frying, and powdered sugar. Um, so the procedures, I had a video that you could click.
you don't have to trek to the French Quarter to enjoy this traditional New Orleans style recipe for the famous beignets. And why would you want to wait to enjoy these pillows of fried sugary goodness when you can make them at home? Into a large bowl, add two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast and one and a half cups of warm water at about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Stir together to dissolve the yeast. Next, add a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two eggs. Can they be eating them? And okay, one cup eat of them. evaporated milk. You can add more sugar and a few teaspoons of vanilla if you wish. This should help me. Ah. Then mix in four cups of flour until smooth. Oh my God, I'm getting... Stir in a quarter cup of softened butter or shortening. And another three cups of flour. Cover the dough in plastic wrap and refrigerate for up to 24 hours. Once the dough is ready, roll it out in batches on a lightly floured surface to an eighth inch thickness and cut into two and a half inch squares. The recipe makes quite a bit of dough, but it keeps well in the refrigerator for several days and can also be used to make cinnamon rolls. Gently lower pieces of dough into vegetable oil heated to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Be careful not to overcrowd the frying pan. Fry until the beignets are golden brown and float to the top, two to three minutes per side. And drain on paper towels. Repeat with the remaining dough. To finish, dust beignets with confectioner's sugar and serve with cafe au lait or hot chocolate. Once you've enjoyed the golden crispy outside and the tender cinnamon delicacy, you'll be smitten. Okay, so that's kind of the procedures on how to make them. You can usually, um, when you visit Cafe de Milan or something, you can pick up a pack of the beignet cakes and actually do that. So, they are actually better when they're hot and fresh, so I make these last night, so they can taste better, better taste. So my traditions, personally, every time we go down to New Orleans and see my grandparents or great um, extended family, we make sure we take a trip to Cafe Du Monde and get beignets. We also have beignets and make them at home every New Year morning, every New Year's in the morning. And, um, with the public traditions, it's known that you, when as soon as you enter Cafe Du Monde, you're given a chef hat. Um, you're also the beignets are served in threes, and they're traditionally served with cafe au lait or hot chocolate. You can order the other menus, but that's just they say it tastes better with those combinations. So today I informed you on the history of beignets and Cafe Du Monde, the recipe and the traditions. Um, I hope that you enjoy the beignets and let it show you. All right, again, those of you that can stay in here.